Welcome back to our program. It's really nice that you could join us once again on the show. Vipin Sachdev is my guest here on our program. He's talking to me about this phenomenal success that he has achieved from opening, well, five restaurants in two and a half years. We were talking just now about uh, skills, you know, about soft skills that you keep training your people in. Do you think that this is one of the drawbacks overall in our country in just so many areas, uh, you know, shops, mall, restaurants, you know, different, uh, different places that we go to and frequent? I agree, yes. We have two drawbacks. One is our education system. You know, what, what is being, when I was in school, I was taught uh, uh, who built the Taj Mahal. Is that relevant? We had, we had five history classes and one civic class. It should have been the other way around. Yes. Okay. And the, yes, and the, today's managements, they continue to blame the education system. I blame the education system. But then I say, I take responsibility that at least when I have these hundred People, colleagues, yes. I would help them to come up by teaching them. Yes. By teaching them. In fact, there are some days I get so tired. The, tire, I get tired because I would have had a four hour training session. At those four hours, I have been brainwashing them. I would say brainwashing. We have a software. Okay. We don't call it training. We call it brainwash, mm. in which all the training sessions are recorded. Mm. So I, I you know, think that is the reason. Managements, homes, country, the people, the leaders are not investing in the human capital. They're and we more, have an amazing amount of yes, human capital yes. in our country. There is, a, there is a silly reason. Uh, a friend of mine, if, I, if he asks me or I ask him, he would say, why should I train them? They will learn and go away. Whereas I tell him, instead of having 10 monkeys, you make those 10 monkeys 10 smart human beings. Chances are three will go away. You will have seven smart human beings. What would you prefer? Seven smart human beings or 10 monkeys? Right. I would prefer seven smart human beings. Right. Now, uh, your, your specialty restaurants, um, tell me something, why did you choose like Italian and Greek and not the traditional, I mean everybody goes for Chinese and Thai and other cuisines that are probably more Asian by, you know, by just uh, by nature. My sixth F&B outlet, which is a Chinese, will open in about 60 more days. Oh, okay. It's called the Jade Walk. Okay. And uh, yes, we chose Italian because I believe the, the most important cuisine that the people love is their own cuisine. So the country's own cuisine. Right. So if I'm in Chennai, the first is South Indian. Yes. The next is Chinese. And the third is Italian. It's all over the world. That's my personal belief. Second cuisine which people go to, or love or go to restaurants is Chinese all over the world. And third is Italian. We were opening a Chinese restaurant in 2009. And that got delayed, which is going to open now because the building in which we were got delayed. So we ended up opening Italian. And then... Uh, 100 meters down the road, uh, we had a location and I grabbed the location in Kadar Nawaz Khan Road and I couldn't open a Chinese, I can't open a Italian there and neither Chinese. So what was the next? We did a lot of research. Then we realized, like Subway, let's get a healthier concept. Now which are the two, two communities which have the, the longest lifespan in the world? These are the Greeks and the Japanese. Japanese, yes. Yes. Japanese, I don't want to do here. It's not going to be easy. The ingredients are very expensive. So we thought of the Greek concept. And yes, my partner, Chef Willie and me, we went to Greece. We stayed there. I went for a holiday and uh, he went to learn a little bit. Mm. Of course, he's very smart. He knows everything, but he had to learn a little bit more. And we came and launched the Greek restaurant. Right. Um, it's very interesting. But what kind of research do you do uh, before you open a restaurant? Or do you, I mean, you did say, OK, so you go to Greece and, you know, your chef kind of familiarizes himself with the cuisine. But how about, uh, how about the people? How about the guests who are going to come and eat and dine in, in the restaurant? See, I haven't ever hired a research company. Really? Interesting. Never. Okay. Uh, when I look for a location, what I do is I neither get a Vastu consultant. I stand outside the location hmm. during the particular week on different days, the non-peak days and peak days, during lunch time, dinner time, evening time. Hmm. And I just stand and watch the traffic on the road watch people going, watch the motorcyclists going, cars going, everything. And if I get a good feeling here, after a few days, I know that location will run. If I don't get a good feeling here, there's something wrong in the location, I will walk away. So it's something here. No market research really? in the, with respect to the location. Okay. okay. Now with, so type of food? Type of food, yes. Uh, we had no choice. Mm. Okay. Among, after Italian, I didn't want to open a North Indian restaurant. There mm. are so many of them here. 
Yes, okay? that's true. And to me, even though I'm a Punjabi, North Indian food is so, it's too heavy. It's okay. too heavy. Mm -hmm. And um, South Indian, there are many here, the dime a dozen. I, it's not my ball game at all, South Indian. Mm. So what next? Japanese, no. Chinese, my Chinese w will be opening soon. I knew it in 2010. So we took the Greek concept. Right. What about uh, age groups? Have, is there any particular age group that comes to a certain type of restaurant? Um, you know, um, do younger people come to sort of specialty restaurants like yours? What is your, what is your experience tell you? In my first Italian restaurant, Toscana Pizzeria, we realized it's the group between 10 to 40 coming there. Mm -hmm. Rarely we would see people in the age group 50. And one fine day, one customer gave me a thought about it. And I realized why they don't come here. And that is the reason then we opened our new Toscana on Chamius. And we took action there that that place will attract the entire age group. The reason they wouldn't come here, it, this is mm -hmm. a ca cafe atmosphere. So tables are very close, there's a lot of chirpiness okay. going on. Mm. What you talk, the next the table can hear. Yes, it's right. all sharing concept. It's like a cafe there. Now age group of 40, 45 and above, what? they wouldn't like the concept. Want they want something more exclusive. Yeah, they want exclusivity, they want silence and all that. Mm. So we opened Toscana on Chamius right. and solved that issue that now there are two options available. Mm. And if you see in Toscana Chamius, you will get to see there 30 and above. Mm. Okay. And here you will see 15 to 40. If I, if somebody wants to have a birthday party and we recommend them Toscana on Chamius, a 12 year old I would say. They won't go They won't there. go there. Surely. They'll say no, we want Toscana Pizzeria. The whole atmosphere is yeah, more zippy atmosphere. and zany yes. I guess, yeah. right? I'm going to come back after a very short break and I'm going to ask you then what role language plays and I do know that you have an opinion about that. Time for another very short break here in WeConnect. Be right back with you.